What's up? How's it going? Um, I accidentally took a few days off again. My bad. But I'm back again with new melee thoughts, new things to practice, and just shit to talk about. So here we are. And one thing that has been on my mind a lot recently, and by recently I mean two days ago, is um, where my habits came from, or what habits I got from fighting Samus so much. And I'm kind of just going to be rambling about uh, just my backstory with uh, when I started like getting good or whatever, to the best that I can remember at least. Um, I just remember losing to Duck at least maybe 30 times before I beat him. It was to the point where I actually thought uh, Sam was like 70, 30 Fox. I don't even remember what year this was in, but it's like I was very young in my melee career and kind of young in general. Like, I don't know, maybe like 21 or something. But I didn't understand the game, like at all. I just heard that Fox was the best character in the game and all these things. And I was like, dude, why can't I beat Samus? Like, and it got to the point where I ignored everything else and just um, wanted to beat Samus. I just wanted to grind versus Samus. And that's when I started kind of laughing or thinking of things to D versus Samus and coming up with my game plans and everything. And like, you know, eventually I do beat Duck. And then I beat him again. And then I started beating him a lot. And it starts making more and more sense. And me and him start playing more after I beat him. And it gets to the point where now I'm playing him he is my primary practice partner. And me and him are playing like maybe four times a week. I just go over his house, we play, go home, lab some more Samus, go play him and all these things. And like, uh, I didn't realize how, people have told me before, but I didn't realize just how many habits I got from the character. I didn't realize I got habits in the way I thought about things in the game. I knew I got technical habits, like, oh, I shield too much. And that's because Samus, like, yeah. Like, I shield a lot versus Samus because her grab sucks. But, I'm realizing it's affecting me a lot more in other spots, too. Which is really good, honestly, that I'm able to notice it. Because now I can, like, spend time on learning these things. And separating them from, uh, how I play versus Samus and how I play the game and play Fox. But, I don't know, it's interesting because uh, I've never been one of the Foxes to really, really abuse anything Fox has. Other than like some counters, some defensive things, but not like the broken Fox stuff, like spamming buttons in close situations. Like, I, dude, I play some of these Foxes today and they're so fast at just pressing buttons in close spots or like in scrambles and I'm just like, how are you guys doing that and why are you guys doing that? And it's like, I don't have that habit because that's the last thing I want to do with Samus. You know, I get in like a scramble with Samus, I'm gonna just put her on down smash. I'm gonna put her on like smash the eye away and shit away, smash the eye high, down smash, sure. And like, there's so many spots versus Samus where like, I don't want to be pressing another button because like that happens, you know, when I press button. And you know, it, if this happens to you, you know, 30 times in a row, you kind of learn your lesson and you don't want to press buttons anymore, right? After like losing your stock to down smash Edgeguard and Duck was amazing at Edgeguard and so he punished me super hard off of these things. So it's like, I naturally just developed a habit. Like anything weird happened, I missed the L cancel, I jab or something. It's like, hold shield, hold shield, hold shield, hold shield. Like do not get down smashed, do not get down smashed. It's okay if she grabs you, hold shield, hold shield. And it was great. It was a great plan versus Samus. 
but now here I am, you know, X amount of years later, and I'm still kind of seeing these habits come up and realizing that they're so ingrained. Even with the way I punish characters now, I think that's where I'm seeing it the most. Like, I played... Um, I went to a local yesterday, and I played Morse Code and Ossify, so Samus and Marth. And, man, versus Samus, it's like there is so much comfortability in knowing she doesn't have, like, great chasing tools other than her forward air. She doesn't have a great grab. And she's slow. And her, and she jumps in the air, her aerials are pretty bad. Like, she's very laggy in the air. So there's so much comfortability in, like, if I don't like a situation versus Samus, I can do this and corner myself and just be like, well, like, whatever. She can't run up and grab me and forward throw down to me. She can't run up and forward smash me. She can. It's going to be really slow. And she also doesn't have, like, Marth edge guards. She doesn't have, like, Marth aerials in the air. So, like, I'm fine, like, resetting here. I'm fine double jumping to the top platform. I'm fine doing this. I'm fine sitting in shield and center stage. There isn't too many spots versus Samus where I am ever feeling like extremely uncomfortable. And again, great plan versus Samus, but I saw it and I felt it versus uh, Marth yesterday versus Ossify. Let me turn on uh, air. Is there a downbeat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the point where like I would even get combos or like openers on Marth, and I wouldn't pursue them that hard because I've almost subconsciously trained myself not to because, like, there is no point in overextending versus Samus because getting her off the at, like off the stage isn't a win con. She's hard to combo in the air, and, like, yeah, there's, like, no edge guard on her, really. So there's times where I will, like, I don't know, I might get, like, an up air on Marth, another up air on Marth. And then, like, he's kind of off stage, and I would treat Marth off stage with s similar caution to how I would treat Samus off stage, where it's just like, ah, uh, this isn't where I get my kills. And it's like, no, 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 this is where I get my kills. This is where I can be, you know, a little annoying fuck and get my shine spikes and CC things and it, it just do all these things because she doesn't, like, Marth doesn't have Samus LP, doesn't have bombs, not as floaty. Like, all these things. Same with, like, just sharking this character. I very rarely sharked Samus just because the reward wasn't worth it. It's like, oh, I catch Samus, what of her double jump? Yes, time to up air her and then knock her off stage. It's just like, dude, like, whatever. But if I catch Marth without his double jump, I need to be hitting him. He needs to not touch the ground anymore. Or he needs to be risking a lot by touching the ground. And when he does touch the ground... I can whiff punish him in ways that I couldn't whiff punish Samus, or like in more like valuable ways. So like, let's say Marth hits the ground here, right? This is huge. I get to whiff punish Marth's landing with grab, throw him off stage, and now I'm immediately it's like we're in this spot. I might kill you. I four throw. I don't think I. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I've actually killed Samus on four throw. I can't. But I've killed Marth many times on four throw, but not enough to the point where like I'm I'm looking to kill all the time. Like I'm not pushing it enough, you know. Um, I I will give some tips versus Samus too, because like a lot of things I'm saying that are like bad habits versus other characters. Again, they're it's a really really good game plan versus Samus, and my game plan versus Samus hasn't drastically changed. But I've added a lot of new things. Like a big thing, um, when I'm on any stage that's not Dreamland, like, yeah, let's say we're on Battlefield. And let's say Samus is at 59, sure, right? I actually don't need to fight her. I will, I did this yesterday and I've had these spots where it's like, oh, if this is Marth here, it's like, I need to play a mix-up. He's going to try and protect himself. I need to be ready to whiff punish it, this, this, and that, all those things. But Samus, I'm like, you know what? I I don't care. Do what you got to do. I'm getting you to this percent, and now I'm killing you. 
I'm unlocking my best move, and I'm gonna kill you. You can't run over, you can't chase me, you're too slow. Right? I can do all these things, I can do all these things. I can literally wait until I get you at a percent that I like, and I'll look for my kill options. And it's like, oh, that didn't work? Okay. Now I got you at narrow smash percent, or whip punish off smash percent. Like, I get to have so much control in this matchup as Fox. But you can see how it's like been detrimental to like how I approach it versus other characters as Fox. So it's like I need to unlearn some of these things if I want to use Fox better than I'm using him. Because right now I'm not using Fox to like the best of his abilities. And it kind of sucks. Because I think I'm really good with Fox. I think I have a lot of really, really good ideas with Fox, but it's like I don't use them. It's like, it, it's because it's just my habits stopping me. It's just like, no, that's unsafe. Don't do that. But, um, yeah, let's talk about some game plan and stuff versus Samus. Like, recently, um, like, I've been playing Morse a lot at these locals, and it's been good because I get to test out a lot of things. And one thing I've tested out is, like, I stopped dash dancing as much versus Samus because it's not like I'm looking for, like, a short hop mirror approach, right? Like, from Falcon, Falco, or Fox, or Marth. It's not like I'm looking for, like, a full hop falling there or anything. And it's not like I'm looking for like a quick running shine that I have to like kind of stay outside the range of. It's like I'm not looking for any of those things. And if she ever does go in the air, it's reactable and then I can start dash dancing. But what I've been doing a lot lately is I've just been walking and standing still because I want access to this move always. This is going to be my best move. If me and her are fighting on the ground, like I want this as my option. Not like this, right? I don't need those things. I want this, because the way she has to deal with this is she has to either get close or jump over it, and both of those things are very risky for her. Because I can walk, I can walk, I can see her jump, and then I can start dash dancing. I can walk, she can run forward down tilt, guess what, it's safe. It's like safe on shield, right? Like here, let's make a little recording. Of like her doing way dash forward shield. Right? Like, I can just walk and down tilt. And it's like, what are you gonna do? Right? But let's say if she, like, jumps and does that, like, I'm pretty sure I can, like, react to that. Right? I tried the dash back. Right? Like, I don't have to be perfect with this down tilt. Because the only way, like, I'm pretty sure I outrange her. That's crazy. We're just not even hitting each other. That's really funny. Wow, I'm getting down tilt or down smash. But you see what I mean by like, I want her to go in the air. I, like I would love for that. So this is like one thing I've been using a lot. Um, this thing, the super duper old Fox for Witch thing, it's still broken to this day. The shield poke down tilt. It's honestly like the easiest down tilt uh, in the game. And the best place I do look for it is the situation where Samus players are trying to wave dash in forward tilt. That is like the most common spot where they are likely to shield after. Because they don't want to get with punish with like um they don't want to get with punish with drill. They don't want to get with punish with up smash or nair. And they don't care too much if they get with punish with grab. So that's why I choose to whip punish with uh, this down tilt shield poke. By far my favorite tech to use versus Samus. 
And the best part is, like, even when you mess up, it's like, whatever, you know? But this is something that I can hit, like, for pretty high consistency. But you see, like, I still messed up, and it's like, it's not like she can shield grab me. Now, she can light shield it, but it's just like, you know, if she's light shielding it, then that means these things are now safe on shield, you know? So they're not looking to light shield to protect themselves. They're looking to shield to reversal the counter attack here. Uh, so that's one thing or two things. I don't know, down to the freaking broken, you want to be on the ground, you want to be able to use it. Versus Samus. Uh, man. I don't know. I've just been deep in thought about this. Because I'm just like, man. There was one situation versus yesterday versus uh, Ossify where I like... I just had him in the air on FD. And, uh... Oh, sorry, you guys can hear fucking ambulance. Um, jump away. Sure. Let's do... Whatever. And, um, uh, I don't know how. Like, he didn't have his jump. And I just started up airing him. And up airing him. And I was like, dude, wait a minute. Like, he had to land here. I just chased him. Now he's off stage. Now he's dead. It's that simple. And, like, my brain is just like, no, 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 no. Surely there's more. It can't be that simple. Like, no. Like, if it took, if it takes me a, a long time to kill Samus, then like surely like Marth, like is harder. And it's like no no no, like it's pretty simple. You get him out of this double jump, you push him to the ledge, you shine him off, or have him in a bad spot. And Marth is worse than Samus in that situation. Like this this spot, this is cash money. And it's like I need to treat it like that. I need to play with that intention of like I'm not letting you down I'm gonna shark you I'm gonna put all this pressure on you 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 are a worse character than Samus once I touch you that's like what I have to tell myself and I feel like that will give me actually so much more confidence because I play against so many of these characters with the caution like they're Samus it's just it's so like deeply ingrained and I don't know. This is cool. I, I love unlearning things. Especially things that I taught to myself at, like, such a young age. And it's like, I just... I, de I, I like the positive reinforcement. It's like, you know, I shield a lot versus Samus. I win more. Winning tournaments feels nice. Oh, I disengage from Samus a lot? That sounds really good. I'll do that. And I try it versus everyone. And the thing is, it's like, melee is tricky. Because, um, melee will give you positive reinforcement for doing bad things. It just will. So, like, I've probably had a lot of success in the spots where I give up value versus people. And the game did not, the game still rewarded me. I might have a shocking situation on Marth. And instead of pursuing it, and instead of pressuring and landing, I might give up and laser and laser and laser. And then I might do, like, a in place in there and they run into it and I up smash I'm like yes like my game plan's working and it's like oh fuck dude that I just missed out on value in each and it's like I don't know dude the character the top tier characters are so fucking good that they will reward you <laughs> for doing something not great and it's like I got rewarded for so many things as Fox that I didn't know were like mistakes or I didn't know I was missing out value and it's like not even to say that disengaging is bad all the time but there are situations where it's good, and there's situations where it's like, if I were to grade it, you know, I'd give it like a C. Like it's passing, you know? It wasn't the worst. It got the job done if your job was like to not get hit, you know? But you missed out on like insane value. And I don't know, this is cool. These are, these are things that I like teach my students when I give lessons too. And giving lessons has, has actually helped me so much because, like, I kind of hear my own thought process 
or my previous thought process in a lot of students. And I'm just like, no, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Let me tell you what I would tell myself if I could uh, go back in time and talk to myself. And it's, it's been helping me so much. Like the game has been great. I, I freaking love playing this game when I can focus on it and ignore like, you know, the other things like fucking like smash discourse and all that stuff. Like I didn't, that's not why I picked up this game. I didn't pick up this game to like be the best and nothing else matters. I didn't pick up this game to like even to make friends or get involved in these discussions. I picked up the game because it was fun. And I need to like protect that seriously. Cause I feel like a lot of that starts to get lost. It, I'm not the biggest fan of where Melee is at right now. But all I can do is try my best to kind of create my own little community, sub-community of people who are like very, very interested in the game and very interested in improving for their own reasons and setting their own goals and things like that. And that makes me happy, at least. And I read some comments about, um, like a few comments saying that like, I'm helping like the newer generation and everything. And that makes me happy because like, the videos like this, I've said it before, but like the videos like this is what I would kill for if I were just starting Melee. If I were just high school Kalindi on YouTube looking for any Melee content I can to get better and I had someone talking about these things, I would kill for it, you know? I, I've watched so many like tutorial videos back when I was getting into it, just like the information was so hard to find and all these things. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of it is kind of scarce now. Um, like, we will probably never really talk about results or anything like that too much on this channel, just because they're so separate from the actual game. And it's like, I, I, I just can't forget the game. I don't want to move further and further away from the game. Like, this is truly what I love, not the other stuff. I can do without the other stuff. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, do I have any more Samus tips? One thing I always tell people, this was it, I have an old video about this. But, uh, something I always tell people is when they hit Samus, a lot of, a lot of spacey players will hit Samus and do something like that. Like, hitting her shield is great. Um, hold on, let me let my shield go down a little bit. Just to make this more realistic. Why the fuck is this not shield puppy? There we go. Okay, yeah, usually stuff like this shield pokes. Okay, perfect, perfect. And, uh, what I always tell people, like, main thing, if you're ever in a situation with Samus, and she's, like, shielding or close by or whatever, light shield, always. Like, do not hard shield versus Samus unless it's situations where you're specifically looking to punish, like, down tilt and down, down smash, or forward tilt. But when you are close to her like this, light shield. You're not going to get shield poked. And you're still going to have time to punish because there's uh, so little um, hit stun on that up B. But you can't uh, you can't punish if you light shield like that. So I don't want you guys to do that. Hard shield those. But those situations I feel like with experience you'll kind of understand light shield situation and hard shield situation. Um, yeah, the best, the best, the easiest way to tell is, uh, when she is already shielding. That's always, always, always going to be a light shield situation. And there are so few always in melee. 
I hate speaking in absolutes in Melee, but this is one where I'm like 99.9% sure you should always light shield versus Samus if she is already shielding and you're close to her. You just will not get shield poke and she cannot down down smash you or down her you or down tilt you, sorry. Uh uh uh, uh what are some other things? Some other things. It might be worth learning, especially with notches. Um, hopefully, they get banned one day. But it might. It it's probably worth learning how to whip punish, or not whip punish, but punish out of shield. Uh, four tilt. So like, let's say uh, you know, you're at higher percent. This is the percent is gonna happen a lot at. But this is really good, like being able to convert um, Samus Four tilting your shield into a wave, like a wave shine. It is hard, but it's like hard in the way where it's like it's probably worth doing it, and you just take the up beat. You will get a beat out of shield if you try this and you're late. But I think, in my opinion, the risk reward with that. Is good. You're taking up B, and as long as you eat the I correctly, it shouldn't lead to much more. And if you do this right, you're just uh, getting a pretty good punish, you know. Because like imagine like she's at you know 90%. I'll just put her at 90%. I love practicing like uh, this, where it's like more real. Oh, I actually, hold on. I can make this more fun. So I'm gonna do this. Oops. I'm gonna have her up B out of shield. I should have her up B uh, to platform. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's where she's gonna get her combo. So I need this good defense on that. Right. Like hit that tech. Get that trade or whatever. Oh, but you gotta convert. Like if you're going for it, you gotta be all in on it. Talk. Maybe I should practice this. This is so funny because like I can do this in game when I need to. <laughs> but I've always been bad at uh practicing this for some reason. Yeah, hit this, make sure you wedge dash, all those things. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my controller rumble. Yeah, you don't want to miss that tech, then you get tech chase. That's like worst case scenario. Sometimes you react to being late. I've done this before, where I way dash in the light shield. Just because I know I got there so late. Dude, even recovering, like, versus Samus is so much better than versus Mar. It's just crazy how similarly I've tried to fight these two characters. So, I'm very excited for, like, how I'm going to look versus Mar. Okay, how long has it been? It's been 28 minutes. All right, let me get one more. Okay, we're done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.